When you're in the woods or on a suburban lawn with mature trees, you might see a cooper's hawk sitting on a branch, inspecting his surroundings. If the breast has brown and cream vertical streaks, it's an immature. Another sign of immatures, in most hawks as a matter of fact, is yellow eyes. A breast with orange and cream horizontal streaks and orange or red eyes indicates a mature Cooper's hawk. I seem to see more immatures than adults, and I wonder if that's an indication of short lifespan for these birds. They can live 12 years in the wild, but few come anywhere close to that. As the Cooper's hawk sits there, he's probably looking for mice or squirrels because the birds have either already fled or have frozen in place, hoping not to be noticed. If you have lots of bird feeders, you'll have Cooper's hawks, and you can be sure they're not there for the seeds. When the Cooper's hawk goes after birds, ambush is his game. The agile, reckless bird races low to the ground, then up and over an obstruction in hopes of taking a flock by surprise. He didn't manage to surprise these birds, but if you're standing there when he succeeds at it, you won't even see this much of the attack. You probably won't register the hawk's approach. What you're most likely to see is an explosion of feathers followed by the hawk killing the starling or robin or even a bird as large as a duck. If the victim sees anything at all before the cooper's talons rip into it, it's a split second look into laser eyes. Once he has his prey, he squeezes repeatedly until it's dead. Falcons kill prey by biting it, but squeezing is safer. And the cooper's face is such danger with every chase that he prefers to end the encounter without taking any more chances. It's understandable if you feel sorry for the birds he catches, but you might also want to spare a little pity for this predator who risks injury or even death when he attacks. The danger he confronts is trees. Yes, they are camouflage and he needs them, but as this daredevil hurtles among them, he's bound to hit branches. The Coopers has no predators to speak of, but swerving among the boughs like Mad Max is so perilous that in a way, he's his own worst enemy. A study of 300 Coopers Hawk skeletons showed that 23% of them had healed over fractures in the bones of the chest. Well, fearlessness is in their DNA. So you just have to respect these devil-may-care creatures, no matter how foolhardy they are. <laughs>